Last week I discovered this magnificent potted garden in the middle of the suburbs. And what I find amazing about pot design is that many of the plants have actually been either propagated from existing plants or their swaps with friends or freebies. So this week I wanted to show you a couple of propagation techniques so you can get started on your own potted garden. If you're looking for a free way to gain new plants, well, some plants like this agave, bromeliads and other succulents can form what are called pups. Now, this is one right here. And the good news is, is that because they form their own roots, it's a really easy way to propagate. So I'm just going to remove this little agave pup from its mother plant. And just bear in mind that this is one spiky plant. So while you're doing this, you might want to wear gloves and try like a serrated trowel or even a steak knife to help you do it. Now, sometimes you might have to sever through its stem to separate it from the mother plant, but this one is a standalone, and look, it's already got a root system there. I'm just going to remove some of these rotten leaves down the bottom, and then we can get it into a new pot. I'm using a cacti and succulent mix, which is nice and free draining, because as you know, succulents don't like wet feet. And I've chosen a black pot because it's a nice contrast with that green foliage and also tie in nicely with the rest of the garden. And I think if you're doing a lot of propagating, it's also a good idea to label those plants so you know what you've got. There you go. What a great way to stretch your plant budget. the beautiful Plectranthus ciliatus, or you might know it as a speckled spur flower. It's a beautiful filler plant in the garden. Just take a look at this foliage. It's got gorgeous burgundy undersides, and it benefits from a good cutback after flowering to keep it nice and compact. So take a cutting that's about three to five inches long, and I like to cut just below a pair of leaves. All right, so now I'm just going to cut off some of these lower leaves just to expose the nodes. If there's a flower on it, get rid of it. You can also cut back some of those larger leaves if you like. Just cut them in half just to reduce water loss by evaporation. And then what I've got is a good seed and cutting mix here. Just top that up a little bit. And get your hands on a pencil or a dibble like this and poke some holes into that potting mix. And then place your cutting in there so those nodes are nice and covered. And look at that, I've managed to get four cuttings into a pot of that size. Now all I need to do is put it outside in, say, a protected spot with a bit of diffuse light just to allow those plants to root. And here's a nice little tip for you. In a few weeks' time, go out and just gently tug on one of those cuttings. If you find that it's hard to pull out, you know that it's forming some nice roots. Then you can either pot it up into a bigger pot or plant it out into the garden. Propagation is such a great way to add to your growing plant collection without breaking the budget. And if you really get into it, you too could have a magnificent garden like this.